good morning class welcome back again so last class as you can see on the screen we have finished a chapter last class was still fifth generation so we have done the different generation the first generation second generation third generation fourth generation and fifth generation so today we are going to learn about the different types of computer computer comes in different size and types they are varied in speed size and storage capacity so as you know different size they have different speed different sizes are there the storage capacity are different computer are of the following types it may be of microcomputer mini computer mainframe computer and supercomputer so how many types are there four types micro mini mainframe now my mini is between micro and mainframe it is between micro and mainframe coming next the last one is the supercomputer now microcomputer microcomputer are the are also known as the personal computer microcomputer are also known as personal computer or pcs short form of personal computers pcs a computer with a microprocessor as the central processing unit is known as a microcomputer so in this device it has no vacuum tube no transistor no ic what it has it has a microprocessor microchips they are they are powerful machines and are widely used in school homes shops and offices these computers can fit on desk or tables and serve best for single user task desktop computer laptops and handheld device fall under this category so you can see the desktop computer the computer you use in your computer class now why people use this computer what are the characters of this computer it is cheap and easy microcomputer are cheap and easy to use limited support for ios device input output device we support very limited limited input output capacity is there storage capacity they have less storage capacity so since it is a person almost a personal computer it's a person so you don't need so much of capacity so it has a limited or less storage capacity software capacity this computer support very limited numbers of software you don't need much software you need office package maybe you need logo you need q uh, basic or basic that's all how much you need if you download games you know your memory will be full Beside games, in useful package, you need only whatever you need to do for school. Finally, you may hardly need Java or C++ to store in your computer. Coming to architecture, most of the microcomputers are self-contained unit, which are light enough and can be moved easily, like laptop. You can move any way you want. Number of operators, they are designed to be used by one person at a time so suppose you are using a laptop definitely one person can use that one two or three or maybe two person can use or more than that it will be too crowded crowded stay away from crowded places remember order virus is still there so avoid crowd keep us safe keep the, keep the social distancing among yourself next the last point is io device in addition to cpu a micro uh, microcomputer has different input and output devices so that was microcomputer and as per your books it's also you know can see the example the desktop computer you use the laptop handheld computer a few of the devices of microcomputer example of microcomputers okay now the next one we have the mini computer see mini computer small computer especially you can call the mobiles 
Now, in term of size, the processor capacity, many computer lie in between mainframe and the microcomputer. Many computer are also called matrix system or workstation. Example, the 12 bits PDP-8 packs are two popular example of mini computer. Characteristic, mini computers are lows, lower to mainframe computer in terms of speed and storage capacity. They are also less expensive than mainframe computer. Some of the features of mainframe will not be available in mini computer, hence their performance also will be less that of mainframe. Okay, so what is mainframe computer thing? Okay, it's a quite big in size. Mainframe com mainframes are huge computer with extremely large memory and a very fast computing speed. They are used. So you can see this picture over there that mainframe computer which is very large in size, it's large in size, that's mean it is having huge memory power and the cost definitely it will be too costly. Mainframe computer or mainframes computer used primarily by a large organization for critical application, bulk data storing such as census, industry and from consumer statistic, enterprises resource, planning and transaction process. Large organization for highly complex application in short. Example, mainframe computers are IBM Z series, System Z9 and System Z10. These are the two, sorry, uh, three examples which you can find in your book of mainframe computer. Finally, we have the supercomputer. They are the most powerful computer, most powerful computer in the world. They are used in weather forecasting, defense, space research, etc. They process of capabilities and huge memory give them large computing power. CD XMP, CDC, Cyber and Forum 10,000 or 1000 are popular supercomputer. You can see the size, the big size, costlier, the capacity, the memory power, the storage power is so high over here. A com supercomputer is a computer that performs at or near currently highest operational rate of computer. Traditional supercomputers have been used for scientific and engineering application that must ha handle very large database or do a great amount of computation as in your book it is mentioned the places that like forecasting defense space research institution or, or organization they use this supercomputer since it's costly it can have a huge memory power and it can store large amount of data so today these are the computers what we have learned and the different types of computer the first one was made mainframe computer, uh, mini computer and microcomputer. Finally, we have learned supercomputer. Again, I repeat, the first computer what we have learned was microcomputer, mini computer, mainframe and supercomputer. Now, if I arrange with their speed, power, costlier, the first comes the supercomputer then the mainframe then you have the microcomputer and finally we have the mini computer it is if i rate in the ascending order in case of cost and storing is the less amount of cost or less cost or maybe less memory power so mini computer then comes the microcomputer mainframe finally the supercomputer class
read the chapter read this computing and i will give you some notes uh sorry not notes it's a assignment to do question answers in the blanks objectives you have the book you can do those but i will give you more uh, so that you can able to learn and you can be prepared yourself for the exam. Thank you, class.